happiness. You know, it's not reasonable to believe that two people can be spending all their time together and not from time to time face a crisis in the relationship. It happens, as they say, even in the best of marriages. But however bad it may seem at the moment, it doesn't have to mean the relationship is over. Even infidelity can't, uh, can be overcome. I didn't say it will be, I said it can be. Obviously, it can't be a pattern of cheating, but isolated misdeeds and hurts can be forgiven if, and only if, both parties still truly love each other and want the relationship to be saved. Which goes to the question of why the crisis occurred in the first place. In figuring that out, you have to be honest with your partner, but equally honest with yourself. Why did the crisis come about in the first place? Could it have been a signal that perhaps you or your partner don't really want to be in this relationship anyway? Be honest with yourself, even if the answer may make things complicated. Understand that sometimes the worst thing about trying to save a relationship is that you do. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other. That was a lie. Caitlin is back with her man, Tyler. He woke up in the middle of the night and he wasn't there. To find out why he was found in a hotel hot tub. Like, that's not right. That's, that's all it that's is. Right. With her mother. <laughs> She's found physical evidence. He's panties, Maury. <laughs> She's found scratches on his back. Said that it came from my cat smoking. My fluffy cat that has now she's going to find out the answer to one question. The lie detector test determined, is she engaged to a cheater? And don't miss a wild story involving this photo. Look at me, don't I look good? No, this man's best friend. He had something he wanted to reveal. And a lie detector test you have to see to believe. It's an hour of Mari involving hotel hot tubs, declawed cats, and the shocking truth. Everyone, let's welcome Caitlin back to the Mari Show. You see, Caitlin came to the show recently in need of a paternity test for her two-year-old son, Bradley. And after, after discovering her longtime boyfriend, Tyler, cheated on her, Caitlin went out uh, and revenge cheated with Tyler's best friend, Gage. Not too cool. And so Caitlin was desperate to figure out which of these men was the father of her son, Bradley. And this is how it all played out. Watch. When I found out my girlfriend, Caitlin, had sex with my best friend, Gage, I was pissed off. Now, I don't know for sure if Bradley's my son. Look at the nose. Look at the eyes. That's Tyler's kid. Gage's girlfriend. Why is this your business? It became my business when you decided to open your legs and say, it's not started with she catching you in a hotel. You didn't come home to me. You was with that bitch. Oh, but it's okay for you to go sleep with my best friend. Oh. You think that you look like that little boy? Look at Gage. Look at him. Look at the mouth. Look at this. Look at your mouth. You think you're the father or not? Hell no, Maury. Look at this, Maury. Look at that, Maury. That little boy's two years old. She waited three years to get a DNA test, Maury. Okay. Three years. In the case of two-year-old Bradley, Gage, you are not the father. You are the father. Okay. So while Caitlin was thrilled with those results, there apparently is still some.